Now, the other thing to consider, too, is you know the resignation of Saakashvili has actually been rumored for, for, say, for several months. Mostly throughout the summer, he's been quiet. There was some speculation that he would go back to Georgia if his party performed well in the elections. As it turned out, they actually were, were soundly defeated in the Georgian elections in October. So for Saakashvili, he... He felt isolated in Odessa. He felt like he, his hands were tied. As we've discussed before, the real power in Odessa, just like, for example, in New York City, is, is in the city, not in the, in the state. So, you know, it's always better to be the mayor of Odessa than it is to be the governor of Odessa because you just have more, uh, more money under your control. You have bigger budgets, more, more influence, more power. So I think the realities, the political realities of Odessa and the specific politics there the dirty, uh, tough politics of Odessa probably took its toll on Saakashvili. Plus, on top of that, he's made the point for some time that you have to be in Kiev to get things done politically, and to a degree he's right. I mean, you know, a governor has to have a good relationship with the president, uh, with the parliament, cabinet of ministers, and that's especially true now, even though we have a decentralization taking place, which will eventually phase out the governors. Uh, for now, that's, that's the way business is done. But that being said, uh, all is not lost. There's certainly uh, a couple uh, spots for hope within the government. Now, I think that the days of uh, the foreign-born uh, cabinet ministers are, are coming to an end, but there is one sign of optimism, and that's in the Ministry of Health Care. Uh, Uliana Saprun, Dr. Uliana Saprun, has been making some important changes there. Uh, she's only been on the job for a little more than three months, but they've already rolled back some of these Soviet-era uh, decrees uh, where you know budget money is allocated based on the number of hospital beds and not the number of patients. Uh, that was a huge source of corruption. Uh, that decree from the Soviet Times has been canceled. Uh, they're moving forward with that. They're also moving forward with the international procurement of, of uh, vaccines to fight polio and, and other diseases. Uh, that has saved the government around $30 million, which is enough to buy twice as many vaccines next year as they bought this year, or to put it into perspective, $30 million is the amount of money that Yanukovych spent on his chandeliers at Mejigiria. So uh, there's, a, there's a definitely a difference in priorities between uh, this Ministry of Health Care and the Ministry of Health Care under, under Yanukovych. So I think there's, some, there's definitely some positive things happening in the Ministry of Health Care, which we should keep an eye on. There's some room for optimism there. Uh, also, the, the Vice Premier and Head of European Integration, uh, Ivana Klimpush and Sinsadzi, who was just in Canada, uh, you know, she's uh, certainly working hard to make sure that Ukraine gets integrated. That's going to be a long process. It's not going to be an overnight process, but she's moving the ball in the right direction. Um, and then on top of that, if you look at some of the other ministries, I mean, <clears throat> there was certainly, a, say, maybe a disappointment when Natalie Resco left the finance ministry and Alexander Danilouk came in. Um, it, it's kind of like when the, your favorite sports team trades away the hometown hero, and they bring in a new guy. Whoever the new guy is, nobody's going to be as excited about him as, 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 the, as the hometown hero. Uh, but that being said, you know, Daniel Luke continues to follow the IMF playbook. Things are moving forward. We already got one of the tranches in. We may be getting another tranche soon. So, uh, you know, things are functioning. There may not be as much, you know, romant romanticism about uh, the new government as there was, say, a year ago. But on the other hand, things are moving forward um, and moving in the right direction.